What's up guys, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. Bailey Gifford is an historic investment firm founded in Edinburgh in 1908. However, there's one thing which isn't historic about Bailey Gifford and that is their investing style. They invest in some of the most innovative and disruptive technology companies on this planet and they're widely regarded as one of the biggest Tesla bulls and also one of their largest shareholders. These guys were investing into Tesla before it became fashionable. A great way to think of this company is they're like the UK version of Cathy Woods' Ark Invest, and the performance of the funds of this company have been on an absolute rampage. So in this video, I'm gonna deep dive into their funds and reveal whether I personally have shares in any of their funds. This is gonna be a really interesting video, guys, so if you're ready for that, let's dive in. Right guys, so here we are, we're inside the funds now, Bailey Gifford, individual investors. In a financial world of lookalikes, our own individuality is our strength. And that is true, these guys were the original Tesla bulls, but they just don't shout about it the same way Kathy Wood does at Ark Invest. By remaining a privately owned partnership for 111 years with no external shareholders demanding short-term gains, we've been able to focus solely on what we aim to do for every individual client, seek out long-term investment returns. So Bailey Gifford has recently opened a Shanghai office as they're extremely bullish on China due to many reasons which I've personally mentioned on this channel. From China having the world's largest population of 1.42 billion people to a growing middle class to the largest EV market and most importantly, China as an economy is actually growing and predicted to grow in 2020 and 2021. Whereas many other countries, especially those in the West, have been negatively affected due to the global health issue. China has been hardly affected by this. And in the country, things are virtually back to normal, which is pretty ironic. So let's check out the company's funds. So we can see we've got one here, Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust and the Scottish American Investment Company, PLC. Now, full disclosure for you guys, um, I'll just put it straight out there. I do own shares in the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust. Um, I bought this back in March when they were at historic lows. And since then, I've achieved a massive return. I believe it's up by nearly 200%, which is incredible, mainly driven by the likes of Tesla. So let's dive into this fund in a little bit more detail. So it's an actively managed, low-cost investment trust investing into high-conviction global portfolio of companies with the aim of maximizing total returns over the long term. The managers look for strong businesses with above-average returns and aim to achieve a great return than the FTSE All World Index. Here's something interesting because you may think mortgages, Scotland. Scottish Mortgage is considered to be Bailey Gifford's flagship investment trust. These days, the trust is global rather than Scottish and has nothing whatsoever to do with mortgages. And um, Because I remember when I first came across this fund, I was thinking, I was thinking Scotland, mortgages, they're not really something that I want to invest in in terms of an area, um, but it's completely irrelevant. Um, really, they should change the name of it to something a little bit more snappy. But still, um, that is the company and they achieve fantastic returns. So either way, it's working. We look to add value over five-year timeframes, preferably much longer. We don't see that we can add much more than anyone else in the short term. That's what they say. So they're quite modest, but we know that they've actually achieved fantastic returns for people in the short term. So the share price here, one-year share price. So if you would have invested into this company, Bailey and Gifford Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust, the same as me, for one year, you're up 97.8%. Three years, 138.9%. Five years, 326.5%. And 10 years, your portfolio would have increased by 771.7%. Now that is an incredible return, guys. This is definitely one of the best performing funds in the entire world. So let's look what these returns have been driven by, especially this year, which is definitely one of the most successful years for the business. So the top 10 holdings, I'm gonna quick fire through them. So first we've got Tesla, which makes up 12% of the fund. Now this is similar to ARK Invest with their ARKK fund, and Tesla makes up approximately 10% of that fund. Then we have Amazon, 7.9%, 
Alibaba, 6.1%, Tencent, 5.5%, Amazon leader in e-commerce, global leader in cloud services with Amazon Web Services, Alibaba, the Chinese version of Amazon, which is basically doing the same thing. It's got e-commerce, but it also does business to business. They're growing their Alibaba cloud services. Tencent, that is a global mega giant in China. They run a variety of different offerings. They also invest into a variety of different companies. Illumina, now this is an interesting one. I do own shares in this stock, 4.4% of the portfolio. This is a company which specializes in gene sequencing. So basically the cost of gene sequencing has been decreasing over the past few years. So this means basically everybody can get their genes mapped. So let's say somebody has an hereditary condition. Um, I believe there was a study done a baby was born with hereditary blindness. They actually managed to remove the gene from the child using gene sequencing and genetic engineering and then cure the baby's blindness. Now, this has major implications. Um, I did some videos on this, so I'll leave that in the link below. Um, but I also believe Pacific Biosciences is also a fantastic company right now. Illumina has had a bit of a hit this year in terms of its share price. But Pacific Biosciences is definitely um, one to watch if you're interested in that area. ASML, now that is just a semiconductor manufacturing company. Metawan Diaping, now that's a crazy pronunciation, but yeah, correct me if I'm wrong below. Chinese shopping platform, locally found consumer products and retail services, including entertainment, dining, delivery, travel, and other services. And then we have Kering, which is a luxury goods company based in Paris. Not really a type of company I've looked into in deeply, but we have Delivery Hero, which has also benefited from this whole global issue. They're one of the largest European food delivery services based in Berlin, Germany. Um, they have partners with over 500,000 restaurants and they processed over 660 million orders in 2019. So very interesting company. And then of course we have NEO. So NEO has been dubbed the Chinese version of Tesla. I recently did a video about NEO stock as it has increased by over 2000% since last year. So I did a full analysis of the stock. I compared it to Tesla and said whether this stock is still a buy or is it massively overvalued right now. Just looking at these top 10 holdings, if we had hindsight, if we had a crystal ball before this whole global issue happened, this whole global crisis, and you could come up with a dream portfolio, a dream portfolio, which would just take advantage of this whole global issue. Honestly, it would be this, it would be this, this, these, their top 10 here, majority of those are perfect for this whole global situation. We've got delivery companies, we've got Amazon, we've got Tesla, we've got Alibaba. So they've got a lot of Chinese companies in there. It's definitely a fantastic um, set of companies there. Well, as I mentioned earlier, if we could think of a dream portfolio, what stocks would we include? Probably Wayfair, that's up by over a thousand percent. Spotify, um, we can see that all here. They've got those stocks, Nvidia. So we've got Nvidia, Netflix, Spotify, um, Zoom. Oh my God, this is incredible. Shopify, Mercado Libre, which is the South American version of Amazon. And um, of course they've got Alphabet. But the even more unique thing about this fund is they can also invest into private companies. So they have previously known to have invested into Airbnb. On this here, we can also see that they have a stake in SpaceX or Space Exploration Technologies, the reusable rocket company ran by the great Elon Musk. Now this is a private company still, but certain funds can gain access to it. And this is an interesting stock as well, Pinduoduo. Um, I actually did a full video about that. It's a great combination between Amazon and Facebook um, in terms of you use social networking in order to get the best deals when buying products. Um, so that's a fantastic company also. I did a full analysis on that. So let's find out a little bit more about who runs these funds. So we've got James Anderson. So he's the UK version of Cathy Wood. James has been the manager and joint manager of Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust since 2000. You and I speak often about Tesla. We've spoken to you often on this show about Tesla and usually when it was at a much lower price, in fact, I think always than it is today. It's at around 725 today at the close. Are you sellers at that level? No, but I want to be completely honest. We have some clients who have size of holding restrictions. And as we've already explained to the company, sometimes in the course of the last month or two, we've had to do something about that. But structurally, no, we 
actually think the company is stronger and more competitively advantaged, and that outweighs the increase in the share price. So we're more buyers on weakness than anything else. So for those of you guys interested, the ticker symbol for Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust is SMT. It's based on the London Stock Exchange. Um, fantastic company to invest in. Could the valuation be high right now? Probably yes, because many of their stocks in the fund have ran up massively. So we've got Amazon, we've got Tesla, we've got Neo. Um, but still, it's definitely one to look at and it's definitely one to watch. But what are your thoughts on Bailey and Gifford as an investment firm and also ARK Invest? Do you think these companies are at the cutting edge of investing into technology? Or do you think their luck will run out at some point? And value investors like Warren Buffett will come back with a bank. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll join in the discussion. And if you guys found some value in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. And if you want more investing tips and exclusive stock market picks, which I'm personally investing into, then you should definitely subscribe to this channel and turn that notification bell on. And with that being said, I hope you guys have an incredible day and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.